Valley Hill gives us Bone. The best JDM brand you've probably never heard of makes its US debut. And Seagar wants you to get hard. This is what's new this week at the Hook of Tackle. Welcome to the Hook of Tackle. The Hook of Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hook of Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back my friends. I am Ben Kohler with The Hookup Tackle, AKA The Tackle Otaku on Instagram, being filmed by, by being filmed by, being filmed by my buddy, Jeff, oh my God, why can't I talk? Being filmed by my buddy Jeff, Jeffrey the King, on Instagram. Of course, we'd love for you to follow us on our Instagram page, The Hookup Tackle USA. Today is What's New at The Hookup Tackle, where we break down all the new items that have arrived this week and point out important restocks that have happened in the week so you can stay on top of the game. So, today we are going to start with one of my favorite small little up and coming kind of niche JDM brands that is making the US debut this week, and this is a company called Mebro. Now, if you are a super JDM nerd, you have heard of Mebro, and chances are you are throwing their crankbaits now. Mebro's crankbaits are known as some of the finest performing crankbaits in Japan, and we're really excited to get these guys in stock. So, starting the lineup out is the Warlock crank. Warlock is probably their most famous crank. It is a square bill it's a half ounce it is kind of a hybrid flat side and round square bill so you're going to get that tight vibration that you would expect from a flat side crankbait but you're still going to get that great kind of cover deflection that you would expect with more of a round square bill totally silent it has a centered weight system that is fixed on the inside so it casts great it performs great and it's very very responsive uh, comes with good hooks right out of the box, bunch of colors, so definitely check that out if you guys throw a lot of square bills. This is one that you're definitely gonna wanna look to add to your arsenal. Staying in the square bell realm, we also see the introduction of the Ryoshi crank. Now, this is one of the largest flat side square bills, really, that I've seen on the market. This is 27 grams, so almost an ounce. It's 90 millimeters and it's still keeping to that kind of two to two and a half meter dive depth. So it's gonna stay in that kind of five to seven foot range. It's a nice, big, very flat crankbait. So you're gonna get that same tight, flat side motion that you're used to from, you know, a sonic side or a flat force, but in a much bigger package. So if you guys are fishing around larger thread fin, smaller gizzards, and a traditional flat side crankbait is just too small, the Ryoshi might be a great option for you. Coming in the other direction is their smaller crankbait. This is the Derringer crank. So this is a small little 43 millimeter guy, just over seven grams, so a little bit over a quarter of an ounce. This guy is designed to go 1.2 meters. So it's designed to go to like three to five foot range. Just a very tight wobble. It's gonna thump hard, even though it's got that kind of round shape. It's gonna give you that very, is that nice vibration underneath the water in a real compact size. So a bunch of really unique colors, and this guy is definitely designed for just kind of running bank, shallow water fishing, or kind of ticking the tops of weeds or cockleburrs or whatever kind of brush you guys have. And then finally, from Mebro this week, we see the introduction of the full trim. And this is kind of a throwback to, what was the bait called again, Jeff, that you mentioned? A jitterbug? Something called a jitterbug. I don't know, Jeff's super old school. But this guy has that same jitterbug lip on the front, right? It's gonna, gonna have a longer profile. 
it has a removable fin. So this actually comes detached and you attach it when you take it out of the package. And it's basically a stabilizer fin that will allow the bait to walk as well. So you can fish this at a slow retrieve, you can fish it as a fast retrieve on the surface, or you can walk it or do a hybrid of the two. So just a very easy bait to operate. If all you do is cast and retrieve, it's great. If you want to walk it and just have a different look, it's going to act a lot like a pencil popper and just create a very unique sound. So the full trim from Mebro, new this week. All right, last week we brought you guys some collaborations between Valley Hill and Lucky Craft. And this week we see an expansion on those collaborations. So we introduce the Valley Hill slash Lucky Craft collab of the B-Freeze GP100F. So this is basically a Pointer 100 or a B-Freeze 100 as it's known in Japan that Valley Hill has come through and basically just finely tuned. So what you'll notice is that this is the three hook version. They have placed a feathered treble in the middle uh, and that is basically to give the fish a target as they're aiming at the bait. It's custom Valley Hill colors and it is made out of a bone material. So you're gonna get a different movement out of this bait and a different sound. So just as a comparison, here is a regular three hook Lucky Craft Pointer 100. So you can hear that it's a little bit more of a subdued sound and just a different vibration under the water. So it's gonna give the fish just a different look. So if you guys are throwing a jerk bait this time of the year, which pretty much everybody is, it might be a great addition to look to add to the lineup. Also from Valley Hill, we see the introduction of the B Freeze 65 Dive. Now this would be, again, a Pointer 65 or a B Freeze 65, but this is in their XD lip. So this is gonna be their deepest diving little 65. And what Valley Hill has done with this guy is again, they have put a feathered treble on the front, again, giving the fish a target, but all of these baits have an abalone insert. So on the inside, you're gonna get just a different shine and shimmy and reflection off the light. It's just gonna give them a different appeal. Great for clear water when the fish are feeding on small fry, little bait, this guy's gonna crush. So definitely consider adding that to the arsenal. Also new this week from Valley Hill, we see the Booster Blade introductions. This is available in a 55 and a 77 size. So the Booster Blade is part spy bait, part tailspin, and then kind of part Senko, if you will. So as you can see, it is designed that you can throw it out there and just slowly swim it in, and it's gonna have just a little bit of body wobble with that tail spin in the back, or you can pause it, and on the pause, it is going to shimmy down just like a Senko would while that blade is spinning. So you get multiple actions out of one bait, the 55 is a nice finesse kind of spinning rod size. The 77 you could throw either on a heavy spinning rod or on bait casting gear. And it just gives them a different look from the traditional tailspin slash spy bait that they've seen quite a bit. So give that a peek. That is new from Valley Hill. Also in the soft plastics game, we see the introduction of the Valley Hill Jacoby. And this is available in a regular size, in what they call a kid's size, just because it's cute. But that's the smaller size. And then we also see it in a version Q, which is gonna be a softer plastic, okay? And Jacoby is basically just a little shad-shaped or a bait fish shaped soft plastic bait. You can fish it on a drop shot. You can neck rig it. You can put it on a Ned head or a little ball head and it looks great underwater just really nice lifelike action hand poured from valley hill so definitely give that guy a look and check those out also new this week from valley hill we see the introduction to the devil what the f is this? thank you carmen also new this week from valley hill we see the introduction to the devil's jig and devil's shaker so this is the new finesse jig and soft plastic combo from valley hill designed to have that nice horizontal presentation to it the jig is compact 
It has the vertical line tie, so it is going to stay high and horizontal in the water. And the Devil Shaker is designed to go on the back of it just to give that perfect kind of buggy, natural look under the water that the fish definitely crush. This is the new trend in finesse jigs. I think you guys are really gonna like this combo. And finally, from Valley Hill, we see some tackle storage. These are the Valley Hill mesh pouches. Now, these are available in a small and a medium. You'll notice they are in some pretty bright colors and this is designed so that you can kind of color coordinate based on what you need to do. They're available in a green, an orange, throw one of these you, Jeff, and a yellow. The medium is perfect for storing things like hazardongs, dough lives, all your traditional soft plastics. There are two pockets, so you can store, you know, one thing on one side, something else on the other, or however you want to do it. So that's the medium size. It's going to hold all your normal size soft plastics. The smaller size is perfect for storing hooks, weights. Uh, we've stored this one with some spark shads. So you can keep your little spark shads on one side and you can flip it over on the back side and you can store, you know, Okashira heads and that kind of stuff. So definitely check these out. They're cool little gadgets from Valley Hill. Just a great way to keep your stuff organized and stored. Okay, speaking of Okashira heads, we see a big restock of all of the Okashira heads as well as the Okashira screw heads back in stock from Mega Bass. If you guys aren't familiar with the Okashira heads, where have you been? These are our number one selling jig head, specifically the screw head that has an asymmetrical blade on it that clacks and creates draft behind it. it pairs up perfect with a three inch spark shad or a little hazardong or smaller K-Tech or any of that stuff. The straight Okashira head is just the more finesse version without the screw. So all the eighth ounce, all the colors, 16th ounce, everything's back in stock now. In new this week from Lucky Craft, we see a return of an old favorite that a lot of us were sad to see go. This is the SK Prop Jerk 110RT. So they have returned this in two colors only. There's BP Golden Shiner and Bone Shad. What this is, is this is a topwater slash wake bait slash subsurface swimmer twitch jerk thing, right? So it's basically in the shape of a jerk bait. It has a prop on the back so you can just slowly swim it like a wake bait. You can twitch it and use it like a rip bait. You can even crank it underneath the surface and create a very unique pitched sound subsurface and just okay. kind of tick over grass and weed beds. So just a really unique bait. It was one of our favorites. We were sad to see it go, but they are uh, bringing it back finally in a couple of great shad fall patterns. So definitely check that out new this week from Lucky Craft. Staying in the jerkbait mode for a minute, Depths brings us the Ballysong Minnow Longbill 130. So the Ballysong Minnow is one of our most popular jerkbaits. It's one of the larger jerkbaits that we sell. Now we see the addition of the Longbill. So this is gonna get down into the deeper zone. These are slow floating jerkbaits. So they're really designed to be fished aggressively. If you get it down too deep, you can just pause for a moment. It will slowly float back up. This is a guy that just is amazing when they're feeding on gizzard shad, herring, larger thread fin, anything where the profile is very important. It's got a lot of movement to it, a lot of action, a lot of sound. Cast great. So if you guys are looking for just a larger jerkbait offering, the Bali Song collection is amazing. The long bill should help get you down in that eight to 10 foot zone. And then also new this week from Depths, we see three new color additions to their DC 400 Cascabel crankbait lineup. This is their deepest diving crankbait. So we see a cool new shad pattern, a nice matte purple finish, which is really beautiful, and then a ghost IU. So those are new this week from Depths Japan. All right, new this week from Jackal Japan, we see a new color addition to the Jackal Mega Pompadour. Now, a few weeks ago, we brought in the Mega Pompadour. This is the largest Pompadour in the lineup. We see the addition now to Pink Back Gill, which is a beautiful, clear water 
color if you guys are fishing ponds or anything that's got some clearish water. Just a nice addition. It could be a shad, it could be a gill. Just kind of staying in that, you know, natural bait fish profile, but with that pink hue. So new from Jackal Japan. Also, Ima expands on their popular Shimmer Shad lineup. So this was introduced later this summer. This is the Suspend Vibe in Shimmer Shad. It sold out instantly when it came in. So they have expanded that same color now into the little stick. And we also see it in the Skimmer and the Skimmer Grande. So those are new this week from Ima Japan. All right, Seaguar Japan is making a splash and expanding the product line here in the US. So we've always had, you know, the Invisex, the Abrazex, the Tatsu, right? But those aren't lines in Japan. In Japan, they do R18. So we thought it would be cool to bring over the Japan versions of Seaguar. So this is the release of the JDM Seaguar. So in R18, there's a few different models. And you can get a little confusing, so I'm gonna break it down really quickly for you. So you will notice that there are this kind of orange, white, and black color combo. So in the all orange and the smaller package, this is kind of the do everything, best bang for the buck line that they have, but this is also a level wind spool. So everything is gonna be perfectly wound on these spools. I know a lot of times when you get smaller yardage spools, like an 80 meter or a 100 meter, 150 meter, that if it's not level wind, sometimes the line crosses on itself and it never quite fully like untwists. So the level wind's kind of a big deal. So one of the best price points in a level wind line in the R18 Bass. Then they have their larger spools, is the 240 meter, and this is non-level wind, so just designed to be the best bang for the buck, best price per yard that Seaguar makes in Japan. So just kind of a day in, day out, everyday use line. If you guys are going through lots of line, this would be a great one to try. And then we see their Fluoro Hard and their Fluoro Limited. So this is gonna be their highest quality fluorocarbon. The difference between the two is the Fluoro Limited is going to be the strongest, but also the most supple. So this is gonna be the easiest casting one. And then the Hard is going to give you the most sensitivity and it's gonna be the hardest line, so the least amount of stretch. So if you guys are fishing bottom contact where sensitivity is super important, I would recommend trying the hard. If you guys are throwing reaction baits or things where castability is really important, then you can just stay with the limited version. The other thing that's cool about these Seaguar sizes, or I should say the other thing that's cool about the JDM Seaguar is that it is available in a lot of oddball sizes that US Seaguar doesn't normally come in things like seven pound, 14 pound, right? So you're gonna see it in a lot more size options and on the package they will have an actual rating like 12 pound and then they will have a max break strength which in this case is 15 pound, right? So you can see exactly how far you can push the lines so it's just pretty cool. So excited to get this stuff in. I think you guys are really going to dig the actual fluorocarbon that the Japan anglers are throwing. It's a little bit different than what's out here in the US, so just something different to try. New from Seaguar. All right, new this week from Daiwa. We see the introduction of the Dr. Minnow. So this is Daiwa's stab into the trout market. These are gonna both be uh, geared towards trout, smaller diameters, uh, you know, smaller profiles. You could certainly use these as just a really downsized jerkbait for, you know, large mouth or small mouth as well. But this is a great bang for the buck. $6.99, little trout jerkbaits, new from Daiwa. Also, we see in, finally, new from Daiwa, the release of the highly anticipated Kage M. QLT. Now this is the brand new Kage. If you guys aren't familiar with Kage, Kage was a pro shop only reel uh, that was offered last year that you had to come in store to get. And so this is just expanding on that lineup. It's basically just a souped up version. So super sexy. You see all kinds of cool little hits on there. The Kage logo on the grip, on the spool. It's that beautiful kind of black, red, and chrome design. This guy features the mag seal, tons of bearings, 
butter smooth drag. So just an upscaled Kage version. Again, Kage stays pro shop only, so you're not gonna be able to purchase this online. So if you buy from us online, you can certainly call the store and we can do it over the phone for you, but you have to have some type of personal contact with our store. So if you guys have been waiting for that, they are available now, 2,000, 2,500, 3,000, and 4,000 sizes. And finally, new from Daiwa, Japan, we see the U.S. introduction of the Daiwa Zillion T-Wing HLC, or the Hyper Long Cast. This is just a super sexy reel. Jeff actually begged us to bring this in, didn't you, Jeff? Beg is a strong word, but I think it's worth it. I heard a lot of begging. What I didn't do you get on my knees. Well, thank goodness. What do you think of this, Jeff? I still think it's such a badass looking reel. It is. It's so sexy. So the HLC basically incorporates Daiwa's hyper long casting system. So it's a different spool, different braking that's designed for maximum castability. So you're going to get the farthest distance out of any HLC version. This is essentially the same frame as a Zillion HD, but weighs nothing. I I don't know how they did it, but it basically weighs nothing. It's got this sexy carbon fiber grip, the cool foam handles. So if you guys are into just cool JDM reels that look great, this might be a nice addition to your lineup. That is the HLC Zillion T-Wing from Daiwa Japan. And it's available on a righty and a lefty. So they didn't forget about you lefties. All right, that is a wrap this week for what's new at the Hookup Tackle. We appreciate you guys watching. As always, if you have any questions on any of the gear, please drop it in the comment section below and we will definitely get to it. Jeff will put links to these products and whatever we can do to help, just let us know. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, we would love for you to subscribe. It would make Jeff so happy. Right, Jeff? Mm-hmm. Smiling with glee. He stumped me. I don't even know what to think. That was the happiest I've ever seen you, Jeff. He's like a little kid at Christmas. So if you could do that, I, you know what? I'll film him smiling with glee and post it on Instagram if you could subscribe. So please do, as always, on behalf of myself, my family, and Jeff and Carmen and Hippie and John, Dale, and everybody else in here, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your business. Until next time, peace.